What's up, guys? Quervo here, bringing you not. Uh, I'm never gonna get this goddamn thing down, am I? Okay, as you can see, not only do I have not one hookah, but two hookahs, and that's because this is episode two. Fuck yeah! Alright, so on today's episode of Quervo, and we're gonna figure out a different name to add to the show, but right now I don't know what to do, so. But today I do have a special, special guest. Yes, I'm one of those TV series that involves people. And no, it's not Oprah. And no, it's not Beyonce. But I, baby, I promise you, it comes close. It comes close. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, i like to introduce you to my brother from another mother. Hopefully another father. My brother, Eddie. Nah, it's not Murphy. <laughs> Eddie. Come on in, man. Come on in. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Eddie. Eddie, you want me to tell your last name on the... No, not at no? all. Okay, Eddie. Alright, so, Eddie. Yes. You are a hookah consultant. You've you've uh, run hookahs, hookah lounges, multiple hookah lounges for yeah. a time period of almost what? Five, six years? Seven years, actually. Seven years. Seven years. Long years. So, tell me. As being a hookah... I would say at this point you would be you were a master. You're mastering no, a hookah. You've you've done the art, you've done your creations, you've done your mixes. Tell me, how was it? It was great, you know. Uh met a lot of great people, experienced a lot of different flavors, different hookahs, different this, different that, different bowls, different styles. Everybody has their own ways of doing things. Some people like to like pack light, some people like to pack heavy, some people like to put three coals, four coals. Five coals, two coals, no coals, you know, fucking people. No coals? <laughs> no coals, yeah. Oh, shit. Those, <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but, you know, it just, it's been, it was a great experience. Uh, learned a lot, definitely. And, you know, just like to share the love. Well, there you go. As we all both know and we all know that hookah is love, right? Yeah, it's about I, sharing. I, Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. So, but today it's not just about talking about hookah. We're also going to be talking about... You know, some ways that you pack some hookah, some ways that you, you know, I've got the Vitra, i got the full-on Vitra today, and I believe you're about your stuff too, your cloud stuff. Yeah, so yeah I've got some, uh, some, you know, just a regular silicone bowl I actually have right here. It's an Amy bowl. It's a really heavy silicone, so it's not like your little flimsy ones that you buy online for like, I don't know, four bucks. This is actually really nice. Oh, shit. I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> there you but, go. And... So, Go ahead, sorry. No, as you can tell, I've used this bowl one too many times. You know, it's deteriorating, but it still smokes like a fucking champ. So, wait, can we say fuck? Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't think we're supposed to cuss. Fuck it. Fuck it. There we go. Well, well, if that's the case, today I actually bring you the full-on Vitra, Vitra 2. Uh, as you can see from our last episode, I did take it apart. Today we're going to actually do a full review with the full... With the silicone casing, which I don't know how that's supposed to help anyways, but it's supposed to keep the heat out. So we're going to try it out. We're going to fully test it to its full capacity. Okay. All right. So, but you're going to pack it because you're the professional here. Okay. Sounds so good. let's get to it. It's my first time packing one of these balls. Mm -hmm. So now that I know that the, the ball is, um, excuse me, the uh, cloud is supposed to sit on this little wedge right here, then we have to pack basically right below that line. Right, so a lot of people you like using forks, their hands, whatnot. Uh, myself, I'm a I'm a big fan of the fork. It keeps my hand from getting all sticky and such. So that's what I use. Um, everybody's gonna have their own style, so you do what you gotta do. So we start with this. Oh, by the way, uh, we're using cane mint from Tangiers, and we're using El Fajer, um grapefruit. I like how you said that. Really good flavors, by the way. I deal with a lot of Middle Eastern people, so you have to kind of learn how to pronounce al <laughs> Alright, so, you know, we're just gonna kind of cake it on, not too much. You want to keep it away from the, from the hole. 
<laughs> make sure it doesn't seep in too much and we're gonna do a 50 50 ratio All right. okay so it's not I'm not packing it down to make it tight I'm just kind of fluffing it in there that way there's uh, airflow that goes in because the only way to get your airflow is through that little middle thing right here and if you don't if you block that then you're basically gonna be sucking for air and that's no bueno all right so we got this clean it up a little bit and that is the end product right there can you see that okay it looks perfect yeah well it looks <laughs> All right, so as you can tell, it sits in there, slides in. So on mine, again, I have the Amy bowl. It's a hard silicone bowl. And it's not like the funnel bowl, so it has these little holes right here. So it'll change the way your airflow works, but it all depends on how you pack it. You can either pack it really tight where you cover the holes and then you move stuff around or you can just cover the whole thing and kind of take your chance with it myself this is how I like to pack my bowl I do like to use my hands on this one just because of the shape of the bowl right so I just take the tobacco fluff it up you know if you have big leaves I like to take a little knife maybe something like this or some scissors or something like that and kind of like chop it up a little bit so you have like a little fine tobacco you don't have like big chunks you know you just have you know, a nice little fluff type of tobacco. I usually put my finger in the middle so I can kind of give it a guide. And then I'll just, you know, fluff it in. I don't overpack it. Tobacco does fly around the place, so excuse the messiness. All right. And that's it. So I usually leave this part right here pretty clear just because of the airflow. Kind of, it'll kind of mimic a, in a, a funnel for se, but it'll be a little bit different, obviously, because you have little holes in there instead of a big hole. All right, so now we have the other cloud going, we're gonna go ahead and use foil for this one. Now this, I'm gonna use foil, but I'm also gonna use a cloud on this one. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different. I used this trick. See me. I learned this trick from my friend Patrick. He works with Hayes tobacco uh, Really good product a lot of people like the flavor. So uh, this trick I got from him It's actually a really good way of packing your bowl packing with a bowl. See me uh, a cloud bowl and the uh, Cleanup is so much simpler bowl take your foil right there and your, your bowl Pack it all right, get as tight as you can. You have to be a professional, nothing, you know, just. Then you take whatever means of packing you're gonna use, or push it, or poking. Be careful with your fingers. And then you just start, and then you just start going around circles, you know? Pack as many holes as you can. Oh, yeah, I gotta this out. That's fine, speed it up. Oh, I don't know how to do that. All right, so you have. <laughs> so you have your X amount of holes ready, right? See that? It's quite a bit of holes. Then you just check your airflow. Good airflow, okay? Then you take your cloud, set it on top. Then we go to the coals. All right, so as you can tell, I have the cloud on the burner. Uh, basically, that's to speed up the process. That way, it doesn't take as long as you know as as it would with a regular cloud. We have to put the coals inside and such because you have to go to foil. Now, I've had this on for maybe like a minute, so I'm taking it off. It's gonna be a little hot, not too much, you know. Then I started with just a few coals. 
Since the coals are small, I'm gonna put four coals in there, two big and two small. Gonna create that. So after you put your coals inside, you're gonna create this look right here, All right? Now be careful because if you move your hand around too much because it's not setting on the tobacco or inside the bowl, your cloud will shift around. Um, so you don't want to be like, I'll be like, oh my God, look at, oh, see, kind of like that. <laughs> Almost burned me. Almost burned you. There you go. All right. So this one here took about a good five minutes to get going just because of, you know, the foil and the cloud and the coals and stuff. That one right here took about two minutes to go. Let me see some cloud, bro. So it looks it looks decent, you know. You just have to let it warm up. It's fine. You know, for the combination that you made, it's phenomenal. So suicide mint with grapefruit and that suicide mint instantly cane hit mint. my uh, well not that people know about suicide mint it's called cane mint from tangiers uh we talked about this in the first episode uh they came up with the name he came up with the name suicide mint and i tell you right now immediately i can already tell you my body is getting like relaxed like crazy from a couple hits already it's insane it's insane yeah and over here I have double apple, guava, and regular uh, mint, all at Fajr. Wow. So, so, good mix. Very good mix. So, Eddie, I want to thank you for having us on our show today. Uh, we do man. have a couple shout outs. I believe you wanted to do a shout out today? Yeah, definitely. Uh, actually, the coals that we're using right now are from Ultimate Coconut, uh, Ultimate Coconut Coals from uh, ultimatehookah.com. Uh, um, he always sponsors me with really good stuff. So, if you want to get some good deals or something go to uh, ultimatehookah.com we also got this cloud right here from uh, Hookah John really nice guy by the way Hookah John hooked me up I got that box today it was delivered like time was just amazing I like things when they're shipped quick and being up to date on my shipments that's very important to me so I arrived of course I was home because <laughs> um, one other thing I want to do one more shout out uh, I'm drinking this delicious beer from Black Diamond. Uh, this is the White Witch IPA. I love IPA. It's just the season. I love the season when it's kind of cold and choppy outside. Even in the summer, I love it. Uh, but definitely Black Diamond is, is a you know, community a brewery here in Pacheco. So hey, you guys, salute. You guys are making some bomb ass beer, man. Anyways, guys, thank you very much. That concludes our episode for today. Today we're gonna... Ta -da. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> First timer, never tried hookah before, come here. So the concept of hookah, how you smoke, is you wanna inhale it with your lungs. You wanna suck in. Suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, yeah. <laughs> Peace. Yeah, Lifetime in As you can see, not one beautiful hookah, but two beautiful hookahs. And you know why we have two? Because this is episode two!